Hello my friends, now we're going to jump right into Module 12 and I'd like to congratulate you for making it all the way through the video website, Silo Architecture course. Module 12 is creating a video blogging and broadcasting schedule to maintain topic authority. Okay, It's a little overview of the blog, post, distribution platforms that we use. We're going to go through all of them. Note at the bottom we have three different kinds of Twitter things that we take care of on our paid product called the Blog Boost. And the setting up of a Twitter army and the tracking of the clicks on a Twitter army, which is an amazing way to drive traffic, is beyond the scope of this course. We would have to show you an entirely different course with at least as many videos to show you how to set that up. Okay, So tip one, I'd like to say that you can pretty much look at our blog boost done for your product page to discover our minimum requirements for a blog distribution. And also note that we're breaking it down into two parts. Um, the first boost process is focused in, on the entire blog post and if it happens to have a video in it, that's awesome. It'll go with the blog post. You know, the second is the video boost where we handle the video inside your blog post as a separate object. Okay, And this is all why we cover so much on 10, promoting and curating your videos manually, because a lot of it is covered in there. Some of the steps you're going to see is redundant, uh, specifically to the second boost process towards the end on this video, where I show you how we also handle our paid videos in the same way we described to you. Okay, so boost one, the blog post. Here's a brief overview of the blog boost process. Okay, well, Google Plus. Uh, plus one posts to your branded Google account. Google Plus post posted to your branded Google account. We do that first. And the post scooped to your branded Scoopit account. Okay, we've already talked about Scoopit, so you're already prepared, assuming you didn't skip ahead, you're already prepared for scooping it. And you've probably already got your bookmarklet set up on either your free Scoopit account or your paid Scoopit account. Okay, and then you're going to post your pin, the post is pinned on our product, and I've done for you, is pinned to your branded Pinterest account. Okay, I love to use Pinterest, and the interesting thing about Pinterest, we're not going to get too much into now, is that you really do need to have open graphs, or your client's blog needs to have open graphs properly set up. If you click the Pinterest button, either the Pinterest bookmarklet or the Pinterest on the blog through a Pinterest plugin, and no images come up, it means your open graph is not properly aligned or created, and or you have no images on the blog post, in which case the Pinterest post will be uh, useless. So I strongly recommend that you do use featured image, and you also use, there's a couple other plugins I'll include on this page that you really should have on your blog that make sure that your featured image is turned into an actual image that's grabbable. So we'll talk about that, and I'll list that for you inside the module on the, on the page. Okay, and the fourth step is posted to your branded Facebook fan page. Okay, it's a really good idea to have a branded Facebook fan page. Make sure you have a, quite a few followers. If you're in certain niches, you can actually buy followers. Um, everybody tells you don't buy followers. I mean, it's just such nonsense. I mean, we have such amazing luck, but you have to have the right sources of those purchased followers. Okay, so there's a lot to this, so don't try this at home, boys and girls, <laughs> until you know what you're doing. But I'm going to give you as many resources as we can. We might miss some resources in this. Uh, module, but we'll, we'll do our very best to give you absolutely everything that we have. Okay, and the next one is post your branded Storify account. We've already talked about Storify. This is one of my faves. It's a love-hate relationship that a lot of people have with it because the really good one now is 60 bucks a month. Um, the free one is not that great SEO. It's minor, but you still get traffic from it on the social media platforms. Okay, so we'll take that blog and post it, the same stuff in the blog to a Storify post and or um, use the blog th that you've uh, created. You know, generally speaking, we'll copy and paste most of the content into a story for a post and create a, a syndication with, as a story. So in this particular module here, I'm not necessarily talking about embedding a story by story into your blog post. We want the blog post to be done first in this type of module. The other way that I taught you in the previous module um, is making sure that you, the other module is going backwards where you actually create your post inside of Storify and that becomes embed on the blog and then you can run a blog boost in a similar way. Like I said, I do that mostly with industry news stories. Start with Storify, okay? But you can do it with anything. If you're in a real rush, Storify is rapid accelerated posting content. You can still do a rapid acceleration content in your own blog as well. It's just another method and so in our blog boost we'll actually copy and paste some of your content into a unique Storify story and then we'll syndicate that. We'll then go ahead and Storify story, pin it to your branded Pinterest account again separately. Okay, so the Storify has its own unique one. You can see in the upper right hand corner, 
WordPress plugin hacked. Damn you, WordPress. That's actually a Storify story. That's been pinned to my Pinterest board. Okay. And then there's a Storify article scooped by branded Scoopit account, different magazine. Okay. So the Storify story is going to go to a different magazine than the your raw blog post. I've got to tell you a little secret here. I don't really care if it goes to the same uh, Scoopit account or not. Uh, we just do that because I actually like the way that a blog post looks with a Storify next to it because they're very different. Just make we make sure our outsource team actually makes sure that we rewrite the headlines so they do not appear to be the same. It's just a different kind of news acknowledgement inside the thing. But we actually put it in a separate uh, store uh, scoop it uh, magazine because you can have up to twelve on the free account. Okay, then there's scribed. Uh, the PDFs created with images and posted to your branded scribed account. This really does get some nice reach for you. Um, scribed is still pulling in traffic and something that you probably want to use and you're definitely going to use it if you get a blog boost. Okay, if you're not familiar with Scribd, Scribd is really a PDF distribution system. Okay. Alright, then we give you 35 Facebook likes. We have a source of really good ones. Never buy Facebook likes if they don't have real human images and test some on some test fa fan pages first. Um, I can give you some Facebook some fiber uh, things that are okay. I'm very, very cautious of doing that because they're always changing so quickly as applications rise and fall. Remember, most of the people on Fiverr just using automated apps, same apps that we use. You know, just in the same way that TweetAdder now is having challenges and started to get in bed with Twitter. You know, a lot of these things will get really powerful and the companies will buy them up when they don't start doing so well. And then you'll watch the Fiverr gig, gig, gigs kind of go to hell in a handbasket. So we have a very great source of these, all right? Then we give the 75 Twitter and Army tweeting and retweeting post over a four day period. So we put a whole bunch of tweets out there. And then we get 25 soldier Twitter armies share your scoop story over a 24 hour period. So we drip all these things through to our Twitter army because we have hundreds of Twitter accounts that have huge amounts of followers and we syndicate your stuff for you. 20, uh, 25 soldier Twitter armies share Pinterest pins over a 24 hour period. Uh, you get varying amounts of clicks depending upon the time of day that these goes out these go out, but we try to give you the best time of day. Okay, So the best thing, as you can probably imagine, is having your own Twitter army and having your own social network that you're throwing these things in front of. Okay, And then 13 to 25 soldier Twitter armies sharing Storify story over a 24 hour period, so we drip all of these in. And then we give you 40 organic stumble votes. I'm going to have a whole other course coming on book, up on book markets on like Stumble It Upon and Dig and all these. These uh, platforms I are not dead at all, okay? So you really want to continue using them. I'm going to have to create another course on it. I have got a really great system I'm using now that's generating traffic for me, no question. So this is something that we, but we automatically do give you stumbled upon in the blog boost, okay? It's something I would recommend of all the bookmark services. And then we give you a bunch of delicious plugs as well, which is still working better and better. 30 delicious posts that you want, okay? You can do all these, by the way. Then there's 50 Google Plus ones which is nice. You really want to get some pluses on that article. It actually gives you a little kick depending upon how you're doing it. All right, And then you get a variety of backlinks. Um, at, to close the entire thing, we give you a variety of backlinks from Web 2.0 articles, PDF distribution sites, wiki sites, social bookmarks, Web 2 forum profiles, Web 2.0 profiles, and a mixture of low and high page rank domains. Okay, So this is what we call our kind of final kick and it's really quite good. In fact, it's one of the better things that we offer. Okay, but that all comes together. Everything that I just went through with you comes together. This is just the way we close it. All right. So that's how you crush it with your blog boot, with just your blog post. Okay. And you know, since we're doing both your Storify story and your blog post, blog boost, your your regular blog post, you could just literally write your post in your blog if you just wrote it, wrote it manually and uh, then we take care of the Storyfy story for you. All right, and if you've got a video in that Storyfy story, that's so much better because uh, the outsource team will just take the video right off the um, blog post and put it in your Storyfy story. But if you want us to handle the videos separately, we have an extra boost, which I haven't broken down into detail, but we manually submit your video to 30 high-ranking websites like YouTube, Metacafe, Viddler, for best distribution videos should be under five minutes, okay? You don't want to get too long on your videos unless you're just really milling out tons of videos. I mill out 
I mill out videos all day, pretty much, like at least three per day, depending if, especially during the really busy stuff that I'm doing. Some of them are private. Even when I'm building three or four private videos, I always leak one, um, and then I'll even syndicate it, and then I'll always mention inside the video there's a course, and then I'll drive them back to it. For example, this is part of video website silo architecture at networkempire.com and anybody watching this outside the members area I'd just love for you to visit us and learn how to do all this stuff um, but this video will have to be syndicated with a video distribution boost like this one uh, we also video pin to your branded Pinterest account um, Pinterest is one of the most successful video pinning sites in fact I emulate the whole Pinterest model with my Pinvid automated video system which is not available to the general public at this time but it is the most powerful way that I've ever driven traffic ever I've got hundreds of automatic video blogs that I use and I emulate the Pinterest layout and I have the best results from that so I know Pinterest works okay we also do we also video post manually to your branded Google Plus account which is not that big of a deal but you really want that 25 soldier Twitter army tweets so on our Twitter army we just kind of blast those videos out there for you and in front of our own Twitter army. Then we post those to your branded Facebook fan page or pages and then we scoop that video individually into the scoop it account which is really what you want. I do recommend regardless if you take this in-house that you always individually scoop your YouTube video or your Vimeo, Vimeo right into Gillom's uh, scoopit.com uh, because videos people like them. Always pin a video and use that embed if you can and you'll get extra traffic and extra boost and end of, even if you are you know embedding it in Storify and your blog post go ahead and just treat the YouTube video as its own universe and, and give it a scoop and a post and a bookmark a bookmarklet as well so really what happens in this video distribution list is the manual submission of your video to 30 plus high ranking websites and YouTube Meta Cafe this is a huge boon I strongly recommend you get it we do offer these in monthly packages um, our prices are agency it's not cheap stuff okay we hand care for all of this stuff so you know if you're an agency and you want special pricing and become a mem become a network empire member and you can get a significant discount on the prices that you'll see on the sales page and then you can serve these to your clients and maintain a profit if you have any questions on this or you want to work out a bulk deal please do contact us but the main thing for all of you guys I just want you to understand is between the video distribution that I've laid out here you can do this stuff you can take it in-house okay and also the you know, general blog post, uh, blog post distribution, what we call the blog boost. It's not, you know, if you take off the Twitter army, which is stuff that, you know, I would have to show you how to build unless you already know how to do that kind of stuff. It's not that hard. But you have to be consistent. You have to create a, this is what I call a broadcast. Okay, if you're doing your video and the, the location that the video is sitting on and you're putting this out there, if you continue to do this over the course, you can ask Sue or any of our outsource team who's been, who've been pretty shocked, even some of our large clients, we've been able to get a page rank four or five within just a couple of weeks doing this kind of stuff. As long as you're consistent. This is why I'm so adamant at starting with the video down, you know, downstream. You start with the video and then everything follows because video is so incredibly compelling, it just makes sense to have it be dominant. The rest is a bunch of work, just getting everything out there in different formats and different file functions. And, you know, outsource that, you guys. Like, t bring someone in-house. i got to be honest with you, I have my daughter helping me sometimes with Twitter stuff, you know, for extra money. Um, and she does a great job. She's only 14, and she's got some of this stuff down on Twitter. So I guess what I'm saying is, like, you don't want to be bogged down in all these publishing things. You want to be bogged down in creating content constantly. And, and doing all the other things that I showed you, the congruency with the products, the meaning, the curation. And some of the stuff is really cool to do, like creating a Storify story is sometimes something that only an expert can do. But if somebody really understands your business, they can start flipping stories for you. you know. So that's really what you should be doing is spending time creating content and not spending time doing all these nitnoids. Outsource it. It's really what you want to do. And so that is the blog boost distribution. Okay. So another thing I want to talk about is creating a schedule. All right, create your schedule and commit to it. If you can't, don't. People tend to overreach. I'm going to do five blog posts a week. No, you're not. Like, unless you're a big company and you've really got a lot of people involved with your company, um, don't hurt yourself. If you're a one-man band or a one-man gang, as Mike Long and Dave Mills like to call it, OMG. Um, you know, stick to just get get started and see what happens when you ramp up a production for one blog post, including a video distribution. You know. If you have to do all this stuff like I'm showing you right here, this blog post distribution, go for one blog post, a really solid blog post and video per week. 
to start. And when you get really good juggling all these little tasks that you have to accomplish, go ahead and do another one. If you're super cash flow positive, outsource that. We'll do it for you. And join Network Empire, we'll do it for you at a discount. If it's in bulk, we'll do it for you even less. You know, we'll do all that stuff and you can continually create content. So that's really what it's going to start driving a huge amount of traffic. Uh, caveat here is make sure that the services that you can purchase to give you better Google rankings, Gillum's, uh, scoopit.com, great guy, great service. If you pay for it, it's got, it gets a little bit better Google love. Storify is the same thing. If you can afford to upgrade, that would be an expense I would probably consider viable if you plan to do a lot of blogging. Okay? You want to get some little extra reach of Storify. Get, it's just another way to get that story out there, both in the social media sphere and the blog sphere. All right? I'm really, really excited for you, and I really think that you've done an amazing job going through this entire video course. You've learned that video website silo architecture is the same as website silo architecture with a lot of forethought and persuasion thrown in with video. And you're working from your video down. You're persuading first, sitting it on top of a major infrastructure that is SEO friendly, creating digital hierarchy with natural language processing, focusing on all your keywords, um, automating your RSS feeds, manually curating these and or outsourcing it and then boosting it and then you're doing it again. And all of a sudden you're starting to convert huge numbers of sales over the course of three months you will watch your site start to rank high for every site landing page and your competition and everybody else that you know will be wondering what the heck it is that you're doing uh, to get these things both ranked and ma create a major presence on the social media uh, services. Okay, And you can tell them if you want that you got it from NetworkEmpire.com and if you want to just keep it to yourself, which I recommend, that would be what I suggest. You've done a great job. I look forward to seeing you in future courses.